Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, oh. everybody. That's my other son in our kitchen. So we came back to the house. Uh, this is my house, obviously. Uh, we just came back. Uh, we picked all this tomato from the outside, uh, from the backyard of uh, one of my friends. And this basket here, oh, probably over 10 pounds of cherry tomatoes. And I can assure you, there are probably at least 40 pounds right now at that site. So I only picked 10 pounds because the heat was just scorching and I was toast under the heat. <laughs> uh, sweat was just dripping down my face and uh, you know, and I couldn't help it but to say, okay, I need to stop. And this is enough for one day. Uh, I picked a basket like this two weeks ago. So every day I can actually right now, if I go back and I can pick another three basket like this. So this or one of the cherry variety, I don't know which variety, but very similar to the one I grow in my old house. It's one of those wild, wild cherry tomatoes. Uh, they are very productive, don't need a lot of care, they just need a little bit of room to grow and sunlight. And that's exactly what these tomatoes uh, uh, um, produce well under those conditions. So if you look at this tomato, they just the quality is just awesome. This is just absolutely gorgeous tomatoes. Um, I mean, I, what else can I say? I, I'm speechless when it comes to uh, this wild tomato. They grow all by themselves without any care, uh, without any water. I can assure you that. Uh, but it, they're just gorgeous. And two weeks ago, when I went and picked some of this tomato, I throw out some seed into the ground and actually germinated. So I will use those as my uh, stock plant, if you want to call it, and to grow them for the following years because this is such a beautiful uh, tomatoes. So I want to continue with the genetic lines. So that's the only way I can do it by keeping the tomatoes and use the seed for the next season. Okay, so look at the size, look at the colorations. It is just brilliant, just awesome. All right, and then we, we went out to our yard and we picked more cucumber. These are some Persian. This one's a little mature. And if you wait too long, one more day, that's how big they will turn out. This one is the perfect one to pick. This is a cute, uh, this is a Persian. And those long ones here are the, not this one, this here is all my Japanese uh, Yatoro, long cucumber. Uh, I've been picking at least 15 of them already. So every other day I come out, I will get three or four more. So that plant is very productive, and I, I will probably grow them again, most likely grow them again next year. This one, I have no reservation because uh, the Persian tend to get a lot of um, uh, fungus and stuff like that. But the Suya Toro seems to do very well in partial shade, and it produce very nicely. Uh, and here, in this basket here, I have some of my own personal tomatoes from my yard. Uh, Again, my, my tomatoes are beginning to uh, ripen. And these are the cherry tomatoes, the Sweet 100. Uh, this year they produce so much, so much tomatoes, unbelievable. Every plant uh, produces tons of tomatoes. It's just gorgeous. And every day I go out and I pick like this much, every day. Uh, this one is another large variety. This is the aged tomatoes. So this is the second fruit that we pick for, for this season. And of course, obviously, these are the Roma tomato, you can tell by the elongated size, uh, shape. It's a little bit small, on the small side, I must admit. But again, they are very, very beautiful, delicious uh, Roma tomatoes. And my, this season, my Roma tomatoes produce very heavily. So that's why they're a little bit on the smaller side. But that's okay. Uh, I, I'm not uh, picky about the size, I'm just, I'm just uh, really um, focused on the quality of the fruits. All right, thank you and uh, for watching and that's it for this video. I just want to show you the second part of the video, uh, all the fruits I picked for, uh, from that house and some of them from my house. Okay, well, we'll see you again and please subscribe to our channel and please post a comment. Uh, we'll see you again and uh, we'll see you outside the garden. Happy gardening.